you probably know that you all have, a, because of your order, a very close relationship with India. And I'm sure probably many of you have been there. I don't know how many of you are from there. But the thing is, you know about Hinduism, you know, and you know about yoga, see? And you know Hatha Yoga is the first yoga, the ground yoga. And on the, in the West, people are so ignorant about pagan religions and Eastern philosophies that they think Hatha Yoga is just an exercise, see? And then when you know yoga and you know there are seven yogas and Hatha Yoga is the ground yoga, you know that yoga is a worshipping, is a, is a body language worshipping to deities, gods, right? There is, there is a god for every pose of yoga, right? There is a god and it's, they have the statue for everyone. They worship them. So when they do Hatha Yoga, they are worshipping all those gods, see? And they do this for an hour, I don't know how long. So in the West, people are so ignorant about the East that they use that as exercise and they benefit themselves because they turn like cats, right? Stressed out. I, I practiced that for 14 years in California when I was an actor, a musician. In order to be in shape, I was practicing Hatha Yoga at high degrees of temperature, sweating my life away and, and I turned, I was so elastic, I was like a cat, right? And, and all because of Hatha Yoga, right? I had no idea I was worshipping false gods, I was worshipping deities, you know, and, and then later on when I converted and it, I, I understood what it meant that it was an abomination for me as a Catholic to tap into false gods and worship them, you know. Then I began to talk about that and I got all kinds of, all kinds of enemies in the church. There were priests practicing nuns, all, all kinds of Catholics, very distinguished Catholics, so they hated me. Fortunately, the church already came out with a document, you know, explaining why we should never practice it. And it's very simple, you know. Um, I give you an example. In the book of the Maccabees, there is a passage of Judas Maccabee. Uh, he was wondering why his soldier has lost the last war because they were always protected by God. They will win all the battles. They will defeat the enemy always. They were all a prayerful army. They were in prayer. They were faithful Jews. They were faithful to God. And that battle they lost. So Judas was very curious about it and went to see his dead soldiers. And when he opened up their uniforms, they had amulets, amulets around their necks. So what happened is in the last war they won, they took the amulets out of the dead soldiers, they killed, and put them on for good luck. See? So what the good luck they got is that God didn't bless them, and then the next battle, they were all killed. See? That's one of the biggest signs of the systems of purgatory that the church uses, because Judas Maccabee immediately went collecting money to send to Israel, for them to Jerusalem, for them to pray for the dead, for the salvation of the dead. So that's one of the biggest shows of the existence of purgatory that was in the soul of a Jew, that was a good Jew, a, a, a holy Jew, that God was with him always. And this is an example of what an abomination is. We should never, you see, we have a very jealous God. We can never, never touch anything that comes from a foreign God. As simple as that, never. So New Age is about inviting us to join all kinds of gods and cultures and not to think much of that. We are all brothers and sisters. We all belong together. So we can hold hands and share our religions and our cultures as one. That is a lie. You know, we could never do that. You see, that's why Jesus came and said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. Mother against children and this and the other. People were in awe. So how could God do that? It was very simple. If we are to obey God, a lot of people are not going to like us. See, because if I'm going to live on God's law, I have to, i necessarily going to have enemies. Necessarily. A lot of people are not going to agree with me.